Nobody could even envisage the impact of the COVID-19 global pandemic had on the visual arts. So much that the prestigious Sassel New Signatures Art Competition couldn't take place in 2020. This competition is established as South Africa's oldest and most respected art competitions. 617 works were entered in all the regions and 123 works were selected and are on display at the Pretoria Art Museum until the 9th of January 2022. I am extremely impressed by the overall standard of the works here on show. Wow, this was a wonderful year. It was really so exciting, first of all, to be back. The work that we got was just like, wow, really mind-blowing. A lot of emotional connection that I felt with a lot of the works, which in some of the previous years was a little bit lacking. A lot of really personal works, which was really nice. And a lot of really interesting new media works that we were presented with as well. What was really interesting is the way that a lot of the artists actually dealt with the whole issue of COVID. And I think that is something that should actually be represented in any collection because it's such a milestone event in history for us. Advice for, for young artists, I would definitely say, just be true to yourself. Don't try and do things to try and impress judges, you know, just work through the work. Something that really needs a lot of attention that a couple of the judges have also mentioned was the whole issue of artist statements, that the artist statements don't always link to the works properly. So I think, you know, the artists also need to consider the artist statement and the titles. I think what we've seen actually now with no competitions, no gallery openings um, for the last two years, the role that art actually fulfills, varying from mental well-being, you know, for the artists and people actually experiencing art, a lot of social functions, people love to come together and share. We've also noticed that the opportunities for artists disappeared in the last two years. There was such a need for platforms for artists to be able to showcase their works and I think the fact that we had so many entries that just proves the fact that platforms such as this that Sassel provides for um, emerging artists are so 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 important. Art is actually now far more important than what it was uh, before the pandemic. I'm quite privileged to be part of this judging panel this year. It's been exciting, it's been amazing. We were overwhelmed by the quality, actually, of the work, of the submissions, and the diversity of medium, of expressions. Though the artists, the names are not there, but you can see the diversity of articulations and representations that are, are submitted. Two of them uh, stood up for me, photography and portraiture, you know. And maybe also it's ind indicative of the times where people had to stop and you know, step back and, and reflect on, on themselves. It is a um, quite a challenging time right now to go into art full time, but uh, I can advise them never to give up. They must pursue their dreams. Art is one of the main platforms of our lives. It connects us with the society. It connects us with our consciousness of who we are. It also drives a construction of identity in the formation of who we are as a nation, as South Africa. I wasn't expecting to be confronted by this many works, but um, that gives us a wider choice to look at from all the provinces and the regions, which is really great. I think there are artists that engaged with where what is the uh, this period is going to leave us with or where is it going to take us. There are artists that thought of that because the mediums are changing. And, and artists have to take that into consideration. And if you look at art history, you, it's always uh, linked to what was happening at that time. You don't realize that there's a shift. You only see that beyond that. But if you are looking at the artworks at that time, you are aware that there are artists that are engaging with what um, the catastrophe that is happening, not only in their own backyard or in, in their own countries, but this is actually a global issue. 
It's been a very exciting experience being part of a panel that is so different in outlook and coming from everywhere. I think it's, it's a very fair panel. It's been very well put together. The standard is very high. We see some of the older ideas disappearing. We're seeing new ideas. There's definitely a turn towards the self, working with the vulnerability of, of being human, with a human condition uh, generally. It's one of the most important art competitions we have. Not only for prize money and opportunities and all of that that it offers, but for the fact that there's no age limit. Emerging artists should be using all opportunities that are available to them. Not only nationally, look internationally. Use every opportunity you have because you never know where it's going to happen. Keep on working, stay in your studio, market yourself, work on your network, your contacts in the art world, improve your skills, improve your knowledge. You must be informed, you must know what's going on in, in, in the art world, what the new discourses are, but be true to yourself. And I think that is probably the most important aspect is to work with who you are, where you come from and your own reality. I do think it's important that all art exhibitions in the country deserve to be seen. And specific about this one is that it's the kind of work that will be shown will be the kind of work I think represents or speak to the events of today. Amongst all of us as judges, one of the things that kept us interested in the works is that the works were very much reflecting of the time, maybe not only in terms of content, but in terms of the kind of forms that are coming out now, whether in terms of new technologies or styles or approaches to art, even the social situations that are going on. So it will be society projected back to us. The judging was phenomenal. A little bit difficult because there were some amazing works on show, so it was not easy to select the winner circle. But we are delighted with how the judging process went. We had a very strong judging panel who are really industry leaders in their respective roles within the visual arts landscape. There were several submissions that made it to the final judging round that in, engage with uh, traditional art making and new technologies. So some of those works, you had to download an app so that you can experience the artwork in a different modality. So that was kind of exciting to, to see that marriage between the, the conventional and the new. The, Artworks, I think, represent what the competition is all about, really the best artistic talent that is existing in our country. And that certainly comes through in the winning work, the runner-up and the merit prizes. I should note though that even the works that did not make it into the winning circle are themselves uh, amazing and could quite easily represent and embody what this uh, competition is all about. For a long time, we have been closed off to these cultural institutions because of the lockdown situation. This exhibition represents an opportunity to just get back into the cultural domain and really see some of the most explosive, intimate, amazing artworks that represent where we are as a country, that represent where we are as an art community. And as one, one of the judges said, which uh, I really appreciate, they also these artworks represent where we are going in terms of our art making. I must acknowledge our colleagues at the Petra Art Museum for the amazing work that they do year in, year out to create a show of 100 artworks that are completely different from one another, but yet uh, you see this cohesive exhibition uh, that really speaks to where we are as a, as a country. We really need to acknowledge both the title sponsor, Cecil, and the logistical partner, Stutterford Van Lines, for their continued patronage of this competition. And I think what their sponsorship shows us is that even under the most trying circumstances, 
the arts are still something that we need to support. The arts still have value in our society. And if a company like Cecil that also experienced its own challenging moments during the past two years, again, it just underscores the, the value and importance of, of not only the visual arts, but the arts in their entirety.